it is widely accepted that competition is the driving force of society. We give a lot of credit to competition uh, due to all the progress we see in the world, the technologies, the improvements. But I'm here to explore that idea and look at it on it. Maybe it's not the most efficient way of organizing society because our society is organized around competition and it is reinforced by the structure. The structure we call capitalism, the market, is not so important to give it a name or understand it very deeply, not, at least not in this video. It's not important to explain that completely. The only thing you need to understand is that competition is the center force. Like it's, it's our organ the way we organize society is built around competition. The idea is that as humans, we are very competitive. It's part of our human nature. But it looks like uh, human nature is, or we, as human beings, we are very flexible. We can adjust to all kinds of different um, environments. And we see the evidence everywhere. So one thing that is also part of human nature is collaboration. So if you were to create a structure, a new type of economy, a new, a new framework, a new structure that would incentivize collaboration, this is what you would see, this is what would flourish, and this is uh, what we, would be the driving force. If the incentive was there, if there was even an egoistical incentive to be collaborative, the incentive to be collaborative today is simply not there at least not on a, on a bigger scale. Maybe inside a, a company, you have collaboration inside that company. But when companies compete against each other, they're basically mm, enemies to some extent. Because they don't want to, for example, share their knowledge uh, between each other. Because it took a lot of trial and error to figure out what works and what doesn't. And you don't want your competition to have that knowledge because it means that they will now be um, stronger and you don't want that. You want them to be weaker. In some cases when the competition is very big, you even want to sabotage them because you want to thrive, you want to survive. So the idea with competition is that the companies that have the good products and continuously make great products will survive and thrive in the long run and the weak will be weeded out. The same between people. The people that are functioning well in society, contributing a lot, are the ones that will thrive. At least this is the idea. So I'm not here to tell you that collaboration is only the right way of doing it. I'm just here to, uh, here to explore that idea. This is also not a moral video that you should be collaborative and competition is bad or something like that. I am just, again, here to explore that idea because I believe that, at least with my current understanding of how things function, I believe that collaboration is far more efficient than competition in our current situation, in our world. And if we could organize and utilize that, that knowledge and create an environment that was less stressful and we could work together, we would create a far better well-functioning society uh, with much more progress. Because competition is seen as something that moves us forward all the time. Because we all the time want to win, we want to thrive, and we compete against others. But there's a lot of friction happening. Like I said before, the companies don't share knowledge freely between each other. And one thing that is very important to understand is that knowledge is very powerful, sharing knowledge. And to better understand that, let's say two people meet, and now they have different backgrounds, they have different experiences, different conclusions on life, maybe even different abilities. They meet and they exchange not only knowledge, but energy and, and a lot of other things. And now something magical happens. They change a little bit direction. They have some new, small maybe conclusions. Maybe it's not, it's not obvious, but they have some more things to work with or they got 
aligned better with the right direction. And sometimes what happens is that there is just a missing, missing piece they need to have an, a, a conclusion or an epiphany about something. So sharing knowledge is very important because a synergy is created. So synergy is best explained by, on this, it's like one plus one doesn't equal two, it equals three. So something is created that is bigger than the sum of the parts. And when companies merge together, they often uh, create much more powerful companies than the accumulation of those two companies together that they can create individually. So it's uh, often not two times as powerful the company, maybe three times or five times or ten times more powerful the company that, that is created from two companies merging together. That's why you see it sometimes in the real world when companies are, are doing this as a strategy. Now why am I talking about this? I'm talking about it because competition creates a lot of friction. First of all, you need to protect your knowledge. Second of all, you need to tell customers that your product is the best one, your company is the best one, and you should support us, you should buy our product. So a lot of energy is lost there. Then also a lot of energy is lost by reinventing the same stuff. Like for example, two similar companies, they probably go through a lot of the same processes to reach a certain level. They had to go through the same kind of mechanisms, a, lo a lot of the way at least. So a lot of the same things are invented, the wheel is invented two times, you can say. Now, a lot of synergy is created when they are together, yes? Ideas are exchanged. But if you were to take that on a much bigger level, if you were thinking it on a, let's say, a global level, let's say you would take all car companies in the world and you would kind of merge them together and now you can draw upon all the experiences, all the conclusions they had. So for example, one car company is very good in creating batteries uh, for its electrical car that has a very different structure than a normal car, but they have a lot of different they have very different experience about and, and knowledge about how to create a car than, let's say, a normal car company, a conventional car company. But together, they are stronger. And then again, another car company has to create uh, solar panels, very thin solar panel on the, on the roof. You cannot even see it. And it uses the sunlight to convert that to energy. Then another car company is very good in using the braking power, using that energy, fueling it back to the battery. Then another company is good in in creating or using nanotechnologies to create very strong rigid materials that are thin and light and you can see how that is beneficial so with all those things together you can now create something very wonderful a very high efficient car far superior than any other car they could create individually and what is more important to understand is that a lot of energy is lost by competing all the time. You're all the time worried about the competition. Sometimes even cutting corners. Sometimes even compromising with nature or pollution. You're creating pollution because you just, you need to, because you, you have this pressure that is all the time there, this competition pressure that is there. It's not because the, the companies are evil or they want to pollute the world or they like have no like they, they don't see what they're doing. It's just because they are pushed by the structure that is, again, I will refer to as capitalism or the market, the incentive system that is built where competition is the most important thing, the driving force that is inflicted in us, in human beings. So you can see it's not the company's fault and a lot of friction is happening when the competition is there. And a lot of this thing can be released when you have a union, when it's, they are merged together. But the most important thing is to understand is that synergy is created from all the knowledge. So when all those uh, experts, car company experts, they're sitting at the same table, they're eating together, uh, maybe they're, they're exchanging ideas, they're learning new concepts, they're learning new ways of creating cars because they, have, they only know the way of creating cars they were doing in their own, own company. But now all companies are working together. Some companies are good in creating this, some companies are good in creating that. They share knowledge, they have new understandings and maybe even new epiphanies. New keys are placed 
and now maybe the last key is there and now wow and they have a new invention so you can see how the synergistic effect is created in, 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 in such an organization if we were to organize it in this way and a lot of uh, energy is saved so not only would the cars be superior I mean you could you could basically see that how, how the car would be by just looking at each company individually but you cannot even predict what we could invent if we were to work together collaborate instead of compete and if this was reinforced by the structure so think about that maybe we can explore the idea how we could organize a society that was based on collaboration and me, we can look to nature for inspiration because nature is very collaborative you might only see it on the surface level sometimes and you think it's only about competition because we are raised in a culture where this is like kind of the most important thing and it is difficult for us to see anything else if we are not looking for it for example what is not obvious sometimes is like you look at the tree and you, need to, you see some mushrooms close to the tree and you might think like what is the connection between them well they have uh, a connection they work together it might not be obvious but the tree gives nutrition to the mushroom that grows bigger and can contain more water and the mushroom gives water to the tree when the tree needs it so you can see how they are kind of working together to thrive so we can look to nature and look at its systems that are very efficient and precise and good in organizing themselves and has a lot of different synergistic effects and look at it get some inspiration and see how that relates to economy to the markets how we could organize our society our civilization better because don't forget the way we organize ourselves is man-made and everything that is man-made can be improved upon like technology is being improved goes through different stages the same we need to understand that our economy the way we organize ourselves in this society is also something that is going through different stages and we are now hitting a point where technology is devastating the world there's a lot of pollution and devastation is happening in the world and we need to recognize that we need to look at the whole more we need to recognize that we are all connected that everything is connected that everything has a consequence you cutting a leaf one place on the planet affects the whole planet in fact affects the whole universe so with that said I hope you understand what I'm saying and maybe you disagree with some of the things maybe I don't understand everything well enough because I'm just here to explore like you but I'm willing to explore because I feel there is there is a necessity to explore at the current moment in time because there's a lot of information out there that is so like people are so convinced with they uh, how they uh, understand the world because the media and the structure and the whole thing is reinforcing those beliefs all the time and I feel it is a time for questioning it is a time for exploration and making your own conclusions a, uh, a lot along the way starting to think yourself starting to be a bit skeptical with what you learn with that said I hope you understand what I'm saying and that you can leave a comment if you have any questions and I will try to answer that as good as I can in the next video if I have an answer for it because like I said before I am here to explore I don't know everything I don't have all the answers I just understand that our economy is not really aligned with the idea of that we are all connected or everything is connected together each individual is kind of self-maximizing thinking only about themselves because this is the incentive system we that is around us that is all for now and thank you so much for listening so far and I will see you again in a couple of days a couple of weeks thank you bye bye